Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on again? It is Tyclone here. I'm just going to show you how exactly I made my Eva Foam creation, being the warlock helmet from Destiny, the game, if you're familiar with it. Uh, thumbs up to you guys. If you are not, just bear with me. I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. Um, so I was playing as a, a Titan, and uh, I finished a strike, and I got an exotic engram drop. Now, it wasn't even a, a helmet. It dropped as a chest piece. Now, I opened it up at the tower, and it dropped me... The, the helmet that you see here, which is called the Istanu GNT Razor. Now this is a couple of days after the bait, uh, sorry, after the game had officially dropped. Now I have not seen anybody else with it at the tower, nor do my any of my friends have it on my friends list. I've never seen it before, and I have never seen it since. Whether it still exists in game, whether the coding is still there, I don't know. Anyway, I've held on to it. Um, it's max light is 170, and obviously you can't upgrade it. Even if I destroy it for materials, I won't get anything for it. So it's a kind of a unique helmet, if you ask me. This is the reason for me wanting to you know, make it for you guys and I've looked on a couple of websites online for Eva Foam creations in relation to helmets and cosplay and that but I could not find anybody that has put up any templates so I decided to, to uh, do my own and um, anyway this is what the helmet looks like this is it's very similar to the Salison Fen which drops as a rare engram but um, anyway destiny aside I'm going to go into exactly what you need to make this helmet and what I did in the process right I use some filling foam this cost me less than $20 this is from a hardware store you need some sticky tape and some masking tape box cutter a little bit of sandpaper and a uh, uh, what do you call that there tin foil right you need a squirt bottle with a little bit of water in it I'll go into that a little bit later on uh, as into why you need it it's quite important and if you want to be extra cautious extra careful and safe you can also have a of safety goggles for the sanding and a um, and a breathable mask obviously there all right so what you want to do first of all is you want to wrap your head in tin foil and um, to make sure this tin foil doesn't split you're going to want to cover it in sticky uh, sticky tape there you go after that's done you want to split it open at the back not chopping off half your hair like uh, my, uh, my partner did anyway you take that off and it should be a close replica of what your head should look like seal it up at the back so it makes you know it make, makes a head shape pretty basic there so I've taken that into the garage because I need a place with ventilation for the next stage I put this on the ground into a box so it faces upright so I can put my filling foam inside it so the filling foam takes between anywhere between 8 and 10 hours to set so you're going to want to leave it overnight but um, you can come in and check on it you know just for, for your own amusement if you want and um, yeah, I'm just moving on from that. But before before you put in your uh, your filly foam, make sure you spray or um, douse the inside of that with your spray bottle as well. And that's what the filly foam looks like, and that's how its application is obviously applied. That's the one that I've used anyway. As I say, it's reasonably cheap. I got about three helmets out of this stuff. And there we go. There. So the polyfilm fills up like a like a cream or a foam. Uh, it is very toxic. Do not get this stuff on your skin. It is hard to get off. Right. and um, it will leave a little bit of you know, some dregs coming out the top there as well after you've finished squirting it will come out for the next 10 to 30 seconds um, you can use acetone to pull that off or I just uh, I just wait wait till it dries and just chop it off with a pair of scissors easy enough this is the foam eventually getting a little bit bigger expanding and that's the Okay, there we go. I obviously used a little bit too much foam, excuse me, the mic, um, so I could probably fit another helmet in there. I have used a lot of foam on that, and it is actually quite solid. Um, solid to the touch, so what I'm doing now, I'm just pulling away the, uh, the foam extracts, or the foam uh, leftovers, if you want, and I've used a little saw, a little modelling craft saw, so I can uh, take off the excess and make it a little bit neater, so I can actually sit it on a table for for um, for some work later on. And about here guys, when you pulled it out of the uh, shell, take the opportunity to use a sandpaper on it, pull off all the excess bits and pieces, all the tin foil on it, and chop it down to the size that you need it. There it is there. And it's actually really important to try and keep that shell on that left hand side there, keep that as intact as you can because you can actually use that several times. Uh, 
Now, making the templates, I couldn't find this particular helmet online, so I couldn't find the templates for it, even for my size. I thought it'd be better to just make my own templates. From what I know, after playing the game Destiny for you know a few years now, I know what the helmet looks like, so I've made the templates up myself. After I've chopped out those templates, I've stenciled those templates onto EVA foam boards, then I've chopped them out according to the pieces that I need for this particular helmet, and I've fitted it to the mold of my own head, so this will ensure my perfect fit. What you're looking at here guys is the inside of the left jaw of the helmet. So what I've used is a little bit of a wire, copper wire, so I can actually manipulate the jawline to make it snug and fit right up against my jaw. So it just makes it a little bit more comfortable and sort of hugs your face a little bit better. For the visor I use a clear plastic sheet which can be purchased at most arts and crafts stores I believe. I don't know if they sell them in black or smoke though but you might think about putting some sort of car window tint over the top of it as an overlay. That's what I do. So after I've applied the visor what I want to do now is put masking tape over the front of the visor because what I'm going to do is spray paint the entire helmet in a base coat. So this will obviously give protection to the front of the visor and uh, the visor will remain the color that I want it to. Nice and clear and um, not the color of the helmet. and just adding in some minor detailing here and there on the helmet. Ryan Little. <laughs> this is generally what I have to do if I use spray paint on several pieces at the same time without touching them and getting my hands dirty. Now these are the spikes that are going to go on top of the helmet. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there you have it. Finally complete, 100% finished is the Estenu GNT Razor for the Warlock class in the game Destiny. Last but not least, tell me what you think of the piece itself. Tell me what you think of the video. Is there anything I should add in? Should I take anything out? How can I improve my future videos for you guys? Just let me know. Send me a comment, a like, a subscribe would be even better. It doesn't hurt anybody to click that button a couple of times. Tell your friends about me even. Uh, but anyway guys, I'm going to leave you with that and the 405th website link down below. Get that in your life if you love the cosplay stuff. I'm pretty sure you, most of you already know where it is and who they are. So I'm going to leave you that guys take it easy take care and i'm done bye